हाय वेलकम टू द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रिया टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द पॉइंट आयोनाइजेशन कांस्टेंट ऑफ वीक एसिड्स नाउ फॉर दैट वी हैव टू कंसीडर एन आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ वीक एसिड एच ए इन एन एक्वेस सोल्यूशन एंड इट्स इक्विलिब्रियम इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द इक्वेशन सी वी हैव वीक एसिड एच ए इट अंडर गो आयोनाइजेशन इन एन एक्वेस सोल्यूशन सो देर इज ए डिसोसिएशन ऑफ एच ए टेक प्लेस टू फॉर्म एच प्लस एंड ए माइनस एंड दैट एच प्लस कंबाइन विथ एच टू ओ टू फॉर्म हाइड्रोनियम आयन दैट इज एच थ्री ओ प्लस सो एच थ्री ओ प्लस प्लस ए माइनस सो दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन वन नाउ बाय इक्विलिब्रियम लॉ द इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टंट के फॉर दिस इक्विलिब्रियम रिएक्शन इज गिवन एज के इज इक्वल टू सी मोलर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स अपॉन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मोलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट सो इन दिस रिएक्शन सपोज दीज आर दी प्रोडक्ट्स and these are the reactants so k is equal to so uh, that uh, equilibrium constant we have discussed in the chapter chemical equilibria okay now that uh, from that equilibrium law we can write k is equal to product of molar concentration of products divided by product of molar concentration of reactants so this is equation 2 now water is our solution so we have aqueous solution so in solution water is present in an excess amount in a large amount therefore the concentration of water is taken as constant so see in this equation we have replaced that molar concentration of h2o by the constant k why because water is present in a large amount so our equation become k is equal to Uh, molar concentration of h3o plus into molar concentration of a minus divided by molar concentration of ha into k now we have to take these two constants together see so k into k capital k into small k so we have just shifted that small k from uh, this side to that side so k into k is equal to product of molar concentration of h plus and molar concentration of a minus divided by molar concentration of h a okay now we have also replaced that h3o by the h plus now why we have replaced because the uh, molar concentration of hydronium ion is equal to the molar concentration of hydrogen ion so we can replace that h3o plus by the h plus now finally we have equation ka so that capital k into small k we have written that ka for that quantity so ka is equal to molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of a minus divided by molar concentration of ha so this is our equation 4 now here the ka is the ionization constant of weak acid so uh, this was our actual point ionization constant of weak acid so that ka it is our ionization constant of weak acid and it is equal to the product of molar concentration of hydrogen and anion divided by the molar concentration of an unionized ion okay so uh, this value is important ka is equal to molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of a minus divided by molar concentration of an unionized acid and the value of ka varies only with the temperature of ionic equilibrium reaction okay so this is about the ionization constant of weak acid now we have to derive the relation between ionization constant which is denoted by ka then degree of ionization which is denoted by alpha and initial molar concentration c of weak acid now see for that we have to consider the ionization of weak acetic acid 
in an aqueous solution now see suppose if we have that acetic acid it is a uh, weak electrolyte acetic acid it is an weak electrolyte so that acetic acid on ionization will give us ch3coo minus plus h plus okay now if we consider initial molar concentration so the initial molar concentration of acetic acid is c okay initially now initially it is not ionized so as it is not ionized the initial molar concentration of that acetate ion is zero and also that h plus is zero because initially our acetic acid is unionized that is not ionized okay now after that it will undergo ionization and at equilibrium now we have to consider its concentration at equilibrium suppose alpha is its degree of dissociation okay so at equilibrium the concentration of acetate ion is c alpha and also that of h plus is c alpha where alpha is degree of dissociation and concentration is c alpha now at that time at equilibrium the concentration of acetic acid is c into 1 minus alpha okay why 1 minus alpha because alpha it is the degree of dissociation okay and degree of dissociation can be maximum 1 so 1 minus alpha into c is the concentration of acetic acid at equilibrium okay okay now by the law of equilibrium so we have to apply law of equilibrium to this reaction 1 now see ka is equal to product of molar concentration of products divided by molar concentration of reactant so acetic acid is our reactant so this is the value of k now what is the uh, molar concentration of ch3co minus it is c alpha into molar concentration of ph plus at equilibrium it is also c alpha and divided by the molar concentration of acetic acid at equilibrium is c into 1 minus alpha okay so our equation is this now we have to simplify this equation third so on simplification that c and c will get cancelled so equation 3 will become ka is equal to c c alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha so what uh, we have done here in equation 3 we have cancelled one uh, c from the numerator numerator and another from denominator they get cancelled so finally we have equation ka is equal to c alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha so here k is the ionization constant then alpha is the degree of ionization and c is the molar concentration of weak acid so that equation 4 gives us the relation between ionization constant ka of weak acid to the degree of ionization alpha and initial molar concentration c of weak acid okay so in today's lecture we have studied the ionization constant of weak acids so its value is ka is equal to molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of a minus divided by molar concentration of ha then we have derived the relation between ionization constant degree of ionization and initial molar concentration of weak acids and our relation is ka is equal to c alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha okay so this is all about the ionization constant of weak acids thank you